Hey everyone, this is Jason Lee with NextLevelGuitar.com and I've brought you something kind of cool today. Um, I am known for customizing a lot of guitars myself. I do paint and uh, pick up installs, all that cool stuff. So I've got some weird stuff and uh, this is something really, really cool that I really, really dig. This is my Fender Baritone Special. Um, usually when I play live with my band, I have two different sets. I have a full baritone set in the beginning and then I've got one that's usually with like a White Falcon or something like that. Uh, this is one that I've modified, um, so usually this model comes with just regular chrome covered humbuckers because I think Fender, uh, you know, three or four years ago when this came out was trying to do that whole rock thing, like, oh, get a baritone and then you can, you know, rock and roll on it and all that stuff. But I want to kind of make it like my own little baritone jazz master because I've got a lot of other baritones. So I routed um, some Seymour Duncan Antiquities into it. Uh, same pick art and everything that you get stock with it. Uh, but I just ended up routing out the wood, routing out the pickguard. Uh, these originally had chrome knobs. I changed them. I put a little chrome, you know, Gibson switch tip. But uh, it's really, really cool. Uh, it's got a stop tail on it, um, you know, with a Les Paul, you know, type bridge, which makes it really easy for tuning. Um, I tuned this one to C, so I've got um, an 11 to 56 gauge set of strings. And listen to the C, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> So it gives it that cool kind of spaghetti western sound that you can get uh, out of it. Reminds you of the old uh, bass sixes that were coming out uh, in the 60s that were used on all the western films. But uh, it's just kind of modified. It's cool. It's got the, you know, coming for a close up here on the headstock. It's really, really neat. Uh, it's got the, uh, the black headstock uh, with the correct logo on it and just says baritone special as opposed to, you know, a Jaguar or something like that. Obviously it has the shape. Um, and it's a little heavier, which is nice. Uh, it's just got the three, three-way toggle switch here, pretty much like a Jazzmaster. But um, I love the look with the white and the black and everything on it. Uh, Rosewood fingerboard, um, pretty decent frets. Now here's the trick to this guitar. It is made in Japan. Um, if you if you do know me from the videos, you know that I really only like the American ones and the Japanese ones, and I love the necks uh, on the Japanese ones. This has a skunk stripe on it, which is pretty cool. Right, you can see the skunk stripe right there. Uh, the, the classic uh, vintage style uh, Fender tuners with the little uh, tuning pegs at the top and then the same tuners that you end up slipping the string down into. Um, I have other baritones from Fender and I use uh, usually use uh, up to a 70 gauge string, believe it or not, tuned to C, but that actually still has a longer scale than this one. So it's all relative. You need to just experiment with string size if you want to get one of these and it's kind of a new realm. Um, for a lot of people, but I really love this thing. It's it's super super cool. Um, it's it's kind of like my backup, but it, I mean I played them enough to where I can already see here in our studio <laughs> that the pickups are aging and everything already from the sun uh, when we're playing shows. By the way, if you're interested in a free video lesson, not on YouTube, including a blues ebook, click on the link below. Okay, click on that link in the text box below the video, and we'll be glad to send it to you for free no strings attached but um i'll get to it right now uh just with the way i've done the pickups on it and everything and kind of how versatile it is so i'll get into some tones right now right now i've got it set up in the middle position so obviously both pickups are on um, i've got my volume all the way up which is a little hot and then my tones you know backed off about halfway right here's all the way so there's kind of a sweet spot like right there okay but I like it for picking back here, if you hear it, right? It's like one of the guitars you can pick right by the bridge and you're still going to get that beefy tone out of it. So it's really cool when you're doing that, just, you know, like I said, spaghetti kind of stuff, you know? just got some beef to it now the reason I'm doing that whole 1156 thing and not going with the wound G is uh, live most of the time I'm still going up really high you know, stuff like that so I can get it's really cool I can get low and I can totally get like a nice crystally high sound Or anything, 
mm-hmm. but just by like widening my string gauge as far as the top end is concerned, I can still do a lot with it. See, so I can still get the pop. I can still get like the super low. Uh, it's it's really really neat and. Uh, Sounds great with our bass player, you know, when he's too normal, he's just kind of playing up in the high register, and then I'm, I'm actually taking care of the lower a lot, and then he goes down, and then I go up, and it's really cool, it tends to trip people out, so. Um, that's that basic setting. I'll go into the bridge, it really kind of uh, brightens up a little bit, I'll leave the tone about the same. See? So it actually pretty much sounds almost like a, a beefy jazz master or something. Get that low out of it. So that's out of the. That's just the bridge that I'm running right now. Now, if you look at it, because I have this the the, the bigger strings on it, the action is relatively high. How I have it set up, it's almost like a, a jacked up Les Paul or something. But the reason I actually set it up that way relative to the neck is that I actually like to have a lot of string movement uh, around it if I'm doing like a lot of picking and with the baritone stuff you're like super super concentrated on just one string like that same style that I was doing before with the other one you know? stuff like that you really want to get just that one string and obviously sometimes with a little bit of a higher action you get more of that thicker tone out of it uh, I'll go to the other setting that's going to be on the neck I'm all the way up on the volume uh, and now I'll open the uh, the tone up, obviously, because it's the neck position. It's actually a little bit softer, I think. Yeah, you get a little more out of it when you're in the middle. But as far as the neck, same thing. Uh, nice warm sounds if you if you're finger picking it. Now I'll just roll the tone back in the middle, that kind of sweet spot area that I like on these pickups. It's a totally cool guitar. They're really fun to mod. I know some of the guys on the forums are modding them like crazy. The neck is super slick. Um, the frets, you know, fret job's done real nice on it. Um, fingerboard, I mean, because it's a thick neck, it's a much thicker neck than what you're used to. It's pretty much like a, eh, a C. It's pretty much a C. Uh, because it's so big too, they're a little bit temperamental if I do travel with them. Um, the humidity and the heat kind of take you know somewhat of a toll on the neck, but I mean, my theory is you should learn how to set up your guitars, and it's really not that bad with a little bit of a truss rod movement here and there. But you will notice if you want to get into the baritone realm, you're going to want to adjust the guitars more. But uh, in general, for Japanese-made guitar, that was one thing I already knew about it uh, when I ordered it, so that was one thing I was like super stoked on. And um, I think they're really cool. If you can still see them around, um, pick them up. Make sure they're made in Japan. I'm uh, just you know, as far as the Mexico thing is concerned on these types, I, I think uh, Japanese and Americans really the way the way to go. Jason Lee with nextlevelguitar.com. Thanks for checking out my customized Fender Baritone Special Guitar today. And uh, make sure to check out the website for a bazillion videos and growing. Mm -hmm.